Putin is in a critical situation. He does not have systematic reserves for war in Ukraine. Ukrainian army general and former head of the Ukrainian Foreign Intelligence Service, Mykola Malomuz, said that Russian President Vladimir Putin is trying to gather allies who will put pressure on the European Union and the United States of America. Putin is in a hurry. He needs to gather a pool of allies who will put pressure on the US. He thinks that if Trump comes to power, he will become his ally and will put pressure on individual countries and the EU to sign peace agreements on Russia's terms. Therefore, Putin is setting the task of capturing even more territories in order to have more advantageous operational positions on the battlefield for pressure, the general explained on the Espresso TV channel. Malomuz emphasized that the Russian president wants to show that the situation will get even worse in the coming weeks. According to the expert, he shows this with his attacks on Ukrainian cities in particular by striking the Okhmat Det hospital and other cities. Putin needs to show that the barrage of fire will continue. Although I will say frankly, Putin is in a critical situation. Putin does not have systematic reserves. He is bluffing. He is on the edge. And his entourage and the military understand this. But Putin wants to show that he has resources, that he will attack, break through and demand peace, but on Russia's terms under pressure from factors. Like he won and worsened the situation on the battlefield, the general noted. At present, Putin's propaganda outlets continue to spread the Kremlin's imperial narratives, presenting them as the only possible way to end the war between Russia and Ukraine. Moscow will hold on to the territory of Ukrainian Crimea to the last because Putin needs an ice-free port as a base for the Russian Navy. And the trillions of dollars worth of mineral and metal deposits in Donbass are also a significant prize that the Kremlin does not want to let go of. Having gained additional access to the Black Sea after the illegal occupation of the Crimean Peninsula, Putin cannot help but realize that the presence of military bases in Crimea does not offer any advantages in the current situation. After all, these bases are now convenient targets for Ukrainian missiles and drones. A huge fire broke out in Taiwan's Shanshan Industrial Zone. The District Fire Protection Unit sent 39 equipment and 79 specialists to extinguish the fire. However, E2Day reported that the fire was so intense that firefighters could not get close enough to put it out. More firefighting personnel and vehicles have been added to help put out the fire. According to information, the factory workers left the fire area. Due to the poor air quality, authorities have issued reminders for residents and people living in nearby areas to protect themselves. The acrylic factory stored a large amount of flammable materials such as methanol and toluene, leading to constant explosions and thick black smoke billowing from the location. A fiery mushroom-shaped fireball was also seen shooting up into the sky. Firefighters told reporters they suspected methanol and toluene had been stored in the factory when it went up in flames. An investigation into the exact cause of the fire will be carried out, firefighters said. Nó nổ tiếp kìa, cứ kìa ơi, nổ tiếp cái nó kìa. Trời ơi kìa, ôi trời ơi, như quả bom nguyên tử luôn đó kìa ơi. Ôi, kiếp chưa kìa? Nh